Hey guys, I'm here playing Project Zomboid. Now this is a game that a lot of you are probably tangentially familiar with, but I'm finally playing it myself because there was a pre-alpha tech demo just released by the developers themselves. Uh, this is basically a top-down, isometric, zombie apocalypse survival game, but the one thing that's different between this and other zombie games is that you will die in this game, it's really only a matter of how long that crushing truth takes to come to fruition. But without further ado, let's get started. So the reason this game is kind of infamous is because the developers at Indie Stone have had a pretty miserable run of luck lately. Uh, they originally wanted to sell pre-orders for their game in order to generate some funds because the game still is in kind of like a playable pre-alpha and then they're going to do playable pre-releases, I believe. Uh, but Google Checkout was like, you don't have a real product, this product isn't finished, so we can't take pre-orders for that. So they lost that and had to kind of sell other games through a loophole in order to get a pre-order for Project Zomboid situation going on, if what I said makes any sense at all. Uh, and then, also, they had a pretty significant pre-alpha leak, so a lot of people have been playing this game illegally. Shame on you. But uh, this is still kind of a good thing because they've gotten a, a fair amount of press as a result of it, and it kind of spurred them to release this public pre-alpha tech demo that I'm playing right now. So basically, as the game gets started here, we will slowly start to realize that, yes, we will die here. As they say, they set the tone in the game, this is how you died. I've done it a number of ways, from burning my house down while cooking soup, slow spreading infection from a zombie bite, uh, actually just getting swarmed by zombies at certain points. <clears throat> but anyway, here's how the scene starts, just myself and my quaint little wife here. And obviously she's not in the greatest position. She kind of serves as the in-game tutorial to a certain extent, at least in this uh, tech demo. Uh, which, this is kind of good and kind of bad. Right now it's good because it sets the tone. Basically, I'm this balding, probably pudgy, middle-aged white male here. Just your average everyman. My wife's in trouble and we're just kind of trying to survive. We're not like big commandos that are fighting against these zombies. And we're not particularly resourceful. We'll just, we're just average people. Uh, so basically, she sends me on missions at this point. She's like, hey, my leg's bleeding. Can you get, like, some bandages and some painkillers so I don't fucking die? And later she'll be like, we're hungry. Let's go get some food. Worth noting that if you want to, uh, you can actually just murder her right at the beginning and then play the game the way you see fit. But I'm not going to do that because I want you to get a, a good idea for how the game basically goes. So let's go up here. I've just picked up some bandages and a pillow. And the pillow is what you can use to kill her if you so choose. But uh, I'm just going to use the bandages, or sorry, I'm going to use the, the sheets to make bandages. So I'll open up my crafting window here, put some sheets in there, and then I'll get some bandages. And then I'll apply the bandages to her, and she's bandaged. Excellent. Now I'm going to go look for some painkillers in here. And I think they're in the medicine cabinet. Yes. Put those in the top slots, and then... Give some to her and she should feel better. Maybe she'll shut up for once. You ruined my life! Yeah, right, well, at least she admits it. Uh, this bathroom gives me bad memories. Uh, one of my first games, I spent like 20 minutes just barricaded inside here because the zombies had taken over my house. Never leave your front door open when you leave to go get soup. So I believe the next thing that I'm going to have to do... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and skip her tutorial here because I know where I'm, where I'm going. I'm going to have to go out here and get some wood, and then I'm going to start barricading myself in my house. And barricades are important because it'll allow uh, a little bit more protection when zombies actually find you. It's amazing, I can still hear her in the bedroom when I'm outside going to the shed here. So, uh, like in a certain other game that shall not be named, zombies only come after you at night, I believe, anyway. So I'm safe for now. Let's put the wood planks here, the nails in my inventory close the door on this shed just because you know I don't want to have to go out there a little bit later and find out that it's been overrun by zombies so pretty soon uh, this place is gonna start to get a little bit hairy but it's only five o'clock at night despite how dark it is I guess it's just because it's a storm but anyway so we'll barricade the doors by just taking the wood clicking on the doors and we'll barricade the windows as well come in here any oh oh I didn't want to do that well this gives me a good chance to show you that you can use your hammer to take the wood off the doors. Any outside windows in here? There's an outside window, okay. Board that up. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of wood, which is something that I, I wish I didn't have to say as much as I did. But, 
I do have enough to at least board out my house for one night, so I'll be safe tonight. Just cut that there. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with this <clears throat> with this window. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I'm coming down with a little case of uh, zombritis. You know what? Let's let's not board this up. Let's save our wood. If they come in, I'll just beat them up. So you can do a little bit of attacking, um, but it's kind of clumsy right now. Basically, you hold the control key and then click in whatever direction you want to swing. Doesn't always work as well as I want it to. Alright, so now I can return to Kate. Tell her we have to go back to the island. What's up? Yeah, we are. All because you're a big, strong man here. So the way you kill her, if you wanted to, uh, to avoid this tutorial and kind of get a little bit more of a sense of the open world uh, style of the game, is you can take this pillow and you can just put it over her face because she never shuts up! When will you learn to shut up? This guy... Let my personal issues get into my, my commentary there. I apologize. So now she's saying, or I'm saying, we've got to go get supplies. And she's like, hey, don't do that. You're going to become a zombie. The, uh, the dialogue in this game has a nice tone to it. I like it. It's a little, it's realistic. And it's also uh, humorous. Despite the obviously dark tone. So now we're having a little bit of a sleep. We're going to sleep, uh, sleep through the zombie apocalypse. Or the zombie nightmare at night. Which is uh, reminiscent of another game that shall not be mentioned. But you can see over here we're getting a little bit peckish. So our guy, after seven hours of not eating, is like, shit, I need to really eat or uh, I'm going to be in trouble. So let's speed up time here until we wake up. There we go. Whoa, it's uh, too fast, too fast. <laughs> okay. Basically, all you missed there was that I need to go get some food from the other house. This house down the street. And since it's the morning, I think I'm not going to have to fight any zombies. At least not outside, but you never know inside of these other houses. The game actually does do a pretty good job of creating a sense of like danger or suspense. Because, uh, as you might have been able to see, you can't really see from a top-down perspective. You can only see what your character would be able to see, too. So this is the house where we're uh, going to have to go get some food. The first time I played this, there was a zombie in here, so I want to make sure that I'm safe. Oh, I hear I hear a zombie. Where you at, man? He's got to be in the kitchen. Just take a peek around the corner. Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm going to lead him outside because combat should be a little bit easier there. Or at least into the living room. Okay, control. I'm ready for you, asshole. Come here. Come here. Where are you at? Why aren't you following me? I'd make a nice tasty dinner. Where'd you go? Okay, there you are. I'll just take you on in here. Yeah, bring it. There you go. Head got all splattered. Better not have ruined my soup. Let's pick up some Campbell's noodle soup here. Some more soup. Excellent. Carrots. And an apple. Those will come in handy for about, I don't know, two hours. I'm just gonna be hungry again soon. Thank God there wasn't a Chinese restaurant next door. So come up here, and then we'll start making some soup. And this is the one real complaint I have about the game, apart from the fact that the controls are a little bit awkward and the tutorial's over long, uh, is that they don't tell you certain things that'll lead to your demise. So here, I I'm going to make some soup. So first I gotta find a pot. There we go, and a can opener. Let's take the pot, take the can opener. But if you cook the soup for too long, your house will burn down. And, uh, well, actually, it'll just cr cause the smoke alarm to go off, which will result in zombies swarming your house, which is generally for the worst. Oh, I think I actually have to craft open soup. How do I just find a tin opener and craft a pot of soup? Can opener, soup, pot. Pot of soup, excellent. And I'll put it on the stove. Here, turn it on, okay. And I don't know when I have to turn it off, but I will soon. Uh, let's turn it off now. Can I eat it? I gotta get it back in my inventory. My guy is really hungry. Reduce, uh, as you get hungrier, it changes things about you. And the other status effect is actually panic. So if you see a zombie, you'll start to panic and you lose like vision or lose coordination. Better board this door up. That could have been a disaster. There's a little bit of story going on here with uh, 
her talking about the radio. When is this good to go? I've totally forgotten. You know, we'll let it go for a little while, but if it starts to burn down my house, I'm gonna be pissed. Let's see, we got little tutorials here. Yeah, I know how to move by now, thanks. Search inside the wardrobe, yeah, I'm aware of that. Let's turn it off, this soup's been on too long. Put this in my inventory. And I'll come back up here. Talk to my beautiful wife. Is there food in this pantry? Because that would piss me off. Okay, good, there's not. Maybe I should put my, my carrots in the fridge. And my apple in the fridge. And, well, you know, why not even keep that can of soup in the fridge? Uh, why is my door opening? Oh, oh, hey, man. Uh-oh. Uh... Haven't had this one happen before. I'm, I'm on pins and needles right now. I'm not moving. Don't try anything funny, dude. Hey, um... Sounds like this guy's gonna rape my wife. So... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just get fucking killed right here. Uh, do you want my soup? Uh, here, take my soup, man. Maybe it's still hot. I can pour it on him. All right, put the put the hammer away. I'm putting the hammer away. I got a pot of soup for you. That's it. All right, okay, man. Well, uh, I'm gonna kill my wife because I don't want him to rape her. I apologize for that. Oh, well, this this probably won't stop him. So I've, I've mur I'm murdering her right now. That was a nice touching moment we had there. And then I'll put the pillow back in my inventory. No one will know anything happened. Uh, he's... What's, what's going on here? She's dead, man! James Clarkson. I know now the name of my death. So I guess we're just gonna stand here because I accidentally broke the game by killing my wife so that guy could not have his way with her. Oh. Maybe if I do a little bit of a stutter step, he he uh he won't be able to get to me. Hey, hey, hey! I'm gonna give you some soup, buddy. Don't worry. No? Okay. Slap him in the face with a wooden board? No. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go at him with a hammer. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> there's my, there's my torso. Um, God damn it, James Richards, James Clarkson. Why you gotta be such a douchebag? One day, five hours. Well, that's not so bad. Anyway, this has been a trip through the bleak, moral desert of Project Zomboid, a game that routinely scares the shit out of me every time I play it by the number of ways that I'll meet my demise. Uh, strongly encourage you guys to check this out. Just Google Project Zomboid, check out the Indie Stone website, and download their new uh, pre-alpha tech demo. This one is going to create a huge buzz when and if it actually releases. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.